you guys, Lord Naron White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God, back with you with the next video in my Mass Effect Legendary Edition playthrough, today continuing with Mass Effect 1. Without further ado, let's have some fun. I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Interesting. Very cool. How much experience is that even, anyways? It's not that much, actually. Considering how much expense it takes to level up, it's not that much. Did we scan that keeper over there? I don't think we did for some reason. Nice. Bar-Lavon. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune, but these are exceptional circumstances, so I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. That's what happens when you deal with a traitor like Saren. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous Spectre in the galaxy betrayed the Shadow Broker. Quite a bargain. Considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with Seasek? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Thanks for the info. My pleasure, Commander. Rex. Oh, man. I, I've never played Mass Effect 1, but Rex, I think, is in the other games, too. The Elkul. The Krogan evolved in a hostile and vicious environment. Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, eaten by predators was still the number one cause of Krogan fatalities. Afterwards, it was death by gunshot. When the Salarians discovered them, the Krogan were a brutal, primitive species, struggling to survive a self-inflicted nuclear winter. The Salarians culturally uplifted them, teaching them to use and build modern technology so they could serve as soldiers in the Rachni War. Liberated from the harsh conditions of their homeworld, the quick-breeding Krogan experienced an unprecedented population explosion. They began to colonize nearby worlds, even though these worlds were already inhabited. The Krogan rebellions lasted nearly a century, 
only ending when the Turians unleashed the Genophage, a Salarian-developed bioweapon that crushed all Krogan resistance. The Genophage makes only one in a thousand pregnancies viable, and today the Krogan are a slowly dying breed. Understandably, the Krogan harbor a grudge against all other species, especially the Turians. Well, so no more objectives here, it says. We could go. I say we could take the long path if we want to search for uh, those uh, keepers, but I say, I think, like, who even cares because. We'll get there when we get there, so what's the point? So we can go to the wards, let's go. Okay, so you can talk to both Harkin and General Septimus here in the wards. Let's go. We'll get there when we get there with the other stuff. Let's advance the main quest for now. An assassin, you ready? Here we go. Now uh, we'll pick uh, Adrenaline Burst and pick Overkill Double Tongue. Let's we'll see if we can't get a body throw on him. Nice job, man. I need to throw, like now. That's right in our face, man. We got not much else, right? Those were Saren's men. I have contacts, Commander. Those were Saren's men. Wow, good fight. I believe the Bible would teach this as a sin. I got business here, but not with you. Let's talk to Jenna. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. Mm. So Harkin is over here. First, we'll talk to him. Harkin and Jermal Septimus are there. We'll talk with Harkin first. Alliance military. 
I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. Biggest mistake of my life. Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. That's disgusting. You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Why don't you go ask him about that? You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? Executors suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bust, note in the file. It's a goddamn witch hunt. You got off easy if you ask me. Skim a couple of credits? What the hell do you know? <laughs> Working for C-Sec isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Krogan Bouncer. The back rooms are private. Reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Back room. Bruh. Ah, uh, even this was sinful enough for me to avoid. Commander! What do you want? I'm here on Shaira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good! Her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Enjoy your drink, General. Yeah, off you go. See you later, kid. I don't feel right just leaving like this. 
<laughs> Don't waste your time, kid. Run away now while you still can. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No. Those days are over. I'll just be what I am. A tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Do you really want to be remembered this way? No, I'd rather not be remembered at all. But I see your point. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? I don't think it could hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why does he think that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Hard to imagine a general like that getting so upset about a woman. That's because you don't understand. Great point. Captain Anderson was the first Spectre, and what else? Saren got him a phone out of there. Mid clinic. There's somebody here to talk to. Let's advance down this path for now. Keeper. Nice. Emily Wong. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. So we're going the wrong way. We don't want to go to the upper markets, we want to go over here. Head over to the basin clinic. I think it is actually probably not down, right? Med clinic door, here we go. 
I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Oh, this is the time for overkill right here. And let's use a, let's get a throw as well, please. And of course, you know what the combination is next. Gun one bird. Overkill. He's got a grenade if we can. Can't seem to find one. All targets down. Nicely done. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. <laughs> it was a big risk. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. I know those men threatened you. But if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. Does this have anything to do with the investigation into Saren? I think it might. Dr. Michelle, tell us what happened. A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Welcome you aboard. Know, we aren't the only ones going yes, after Fist. You got Garrus. Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we heard about him. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Dude, this is awesome. So we're gonna pick... Garrus. Yeah, we, I, I, I want to roll with Garrus and Rex, personally. Liara is a biotic as well, if I remember correctly, Liara is a biotic. The Asari here, this is Rex, and I'm forgetting the name of the last one here. But she's mostly like a drone-like level per one, she's not great. Williams is really good, Garrus is freaking amazing that I remember. Williams is a soldier, right? Yeah, let's get, let's get Williams with us as well. Alright, let's go, let's roll with this. Thanks, Caden. So let's check out our squad points here. You see, Garrus, uh... He has a tremendous sniping ability that I remember. So let's actually get him straight up to sniper. And, uh, yeah. Okay, now let's get his snipers. Looks like it what requires more points or what?
Not sure why I can't seem to get more done here. But, uh, yeah. Let's uh, wait for next level, see if we can't get more sniper stuff. But, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I can't increase Varus' sniper more, but yeah, we'll hold off on that for now. So we can look to get Rex as well. The Elko, driven from their home system by the Geth nearly three centuries ago, most Quarians now live aboard the migrant fleet, a flotilla of 50,000 vessels ranging in size from passenger shuttles to mobile space stations. Home to 17 million Quarians, the flotilla understandably has scarce resources. Because of this, each Quarian must go on a rite of passage known as the pilgrimage when they come of age. They leave the fleet and only return once they have found something of value they can bring back to their people. Other species tend to look down on the Quarians for creating the Geth yeah. and for the negative impact their fleet has when it enters a system. Yeah. This has led to many myths and rumors about the Quarians, including the belief that underneath their clothes and breathing masks, they are actually cybernetic creatures, a combination of organic and synthetic parts. Like a C-Sec Academy. Properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Really cool. Wow, that's a lot of cards required. Maybe we'll talk with her more, actually, I think. She probably should. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. <laughs> My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. You're a doctor. Oh, excuse me. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father... I chose I'll be going now. Yeah. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. Alright, sounds good. So this carries his points, no worries. So let's get off the basin clinic and see where else we need to go. Rapid transit to C Sec. We gotta go to the C Sec Academy. Talk with the Rex there. We're gonna actually add Rex to the team. And that's where we'll end the video there for this week. And so with that I want to say, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. I'd like to be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.